I am the most reverend in the Kai Mary. They call me the good thing because I bring good things. The Almighty God has sent me to give you whatever you want on the earth. They will be given to you. That's why I am here to minister life to you. Let's go. Genesis chapter 24 and we are looking at verse number 4 this is Abraham making his servant his senior servant to swear an oath swear an oath that's really what it is swear an oath that he will not that was verse 3 that he will not take for a wife for Isaac his son among the Canaanites daughters but let's see where number 4 but will go to my country and my own relatives and get a wife for my son Isaac why? Why is own country back out there? You know what I teach and what the Holy Spirit taught me many years ago. If you, if God has opened door for you to leave your country to a different country, especially of a higher significance, of a higher qualification, of a higher civilization, higher intelligence you cannot go back there to go and get a wife that is different from what we are reading here because people back home are far more worse than people where you are if you think what I'm telling you is a lie go and try it you'll see go and try and go back to the country where you were born to go and get yourself a husband or a wife they, they, what they will do to you you are not ready for it what Abraham was talking about here why Eliezer has to go to go and find a wife a decent wife a beautiful wife but a responsible duty bound administrator a woman of great intelligence and learning a woman of trade. The Canaanite daughters were not like that. Abraham did not want someone who will come and destroy the promises of God to turn him and Sarah into nations, to make nations. Excuse me. What is this? So, because Abraham did not want the promise that God has made, what God spoke to him from the beginning, he didn't want to spoil it. He wanted to keep his path of the promise running smoothly. So, he wanted to make sure that his family was not divided. Let's see. Let's see here. Verse number five. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hold on. Please hold on. Let's go to verse number five. The servant asks him, What if the woman, what if the woman 
is unwilling to come back with me to this land. Shall I then take your son back to the country you came from? Listen to this. You know that the God and I, we agree. See what Abraham said. Make sure that you do not take my son back there. If God has moved you out of a country that you didn't like, a country that tortured you, a people that didn't like you and wanted to take your life, you don't, you don't need to go back to them. You don't need to go there. Many a times, God will even warn you against going back there to go and own property, to go and fight over land and houses and things there, even to do businesses there. No. When you leave, you should leave for real. Because many of you, where you were born, is calling you to come and die. And they will present things, buy land, build houses, do all of that. But you do not know that they are, you are being called to come and let them finish you off. Because people who don't like you are many. Even if you do not, even though you do not know it. When God sent you from a smaller nation, an insignificant nation that cannot even take care of themselves, to a bigger nation where you, you have what it takes to become somebody, stay in that country and leave the country that you came behind because there's nothing there for you anymore. All my friends who went back to the country where they were born to go and run election to become senators and president, they've all died or they all came back as mental people. They've all lost their money. They sold their houses in America to go and contest election in Africa. They are all dead or they came back here and now are in mental institutions. I warned them. They didn't want to listen. Because people back home want you to bring your money and let them enjoy for free. They think that people here are muggles. I tell them that they who are there are the Mughals and the Itapus. Hope you write that down. I'm not going to say what it is. Just like the war that is going on in America today, you know, between police and so on. It's a war or a problem between the, the Mughals and the Itapus. That's what's going on. Don't ask me who are the Mughals and don't ask me who are the Itapus. <laughs> because I will never tell you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, he said, make sure that you do not take my son back there. When God sent you out, it means he sent you out of your country for you to go and become a member of a different country and prosper in that country and give the country that hosts you, the country that you now you are residing, shall become your own country. You should not go there to go and collect welfare. You should do like Abraham. You're going there to go and do business in order to support that country, in order to make that country even bigger and greater and stronger and contribute to that country. And Abraham knew when he was told at the age of 75 to leave, he knew that he left for real. He never called back home. He didn't go to check on them. He didn't go to go and fight over the land that he left. He left for real. Why? Because when God sent you out, he's going to start you out. He's going to give you the good things that the guy Mary brings. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at it. This is so good. Wow, I'm loving this. Make sure that you do not take my son back there. That's what Abraham said. That's what he said. Hmm. Abraham said, The Lord, the God of heaven, the God of heaven, who brought me, Mary, make sure you're looking at the time for me, who brought me, Mary, are you there? 
who brought me out of my father's house. Listen to this. The Lord, the God of heaven, who brought me out of my father's house. Out of my father's household. And my native land. And who spake, or who spoke, excuse me, and who spoke to me. See? God brought him. And God spoke to him. Those are two things. Brought him, spoke to him, and promised me on oath. Have you gone to God and said, God, what is your promise for me by oath concerning the present land that I am? Where do I belong? Where do I fit in? Sway to me by an oath concerning this land and concerning me today, tomorrow, and forever. Say, God, God moved him. God spoke to him. And God gave him a promise by oath. Three things, like the Trinity. The Trinity of existence. Move you, God moved you, spoke to you, and make you a promise by oath. Three things, by oath. Not just that God spoke to you. He swore that by himself and by his name, this is what he want to do for you. Have, you. have you asked God for that? Or you are just believing everything from the Bible? Why don't you ask God to speak to you directly from heaven? Because God is a person, he's a being. Swore to him by an oath saying to your offspring i will give this land you hear that clear message to your offspring i will give this land listen to listen listen to this what god has spoken to you as an individual is going to be what is going to lead you throughout your lifetime not what other people are trying to suggest to you to do because let me tell you a lot of people are trying to make you in their own image and likeness and that is going to destroy you god has already made you in his image and likeness but is he leading you has he spoken to you has he given you a promise by oath you need to go and ask God for those things. Tell him, if you, God, you are not the one leading me, stop me and stop whatever, whatever human, whatever voices, whatever forces of ancestors, whatever mammoth power, whatever political voices, cultural voices, religious voices, educational voices, whatever voices and people and beings and devils and humans who are leading me, stop me now and take control again stop me right now and strip me of all this whatever marriages is leading me stop me right here so that you can begin to lead me so that you can speak to me and i want a promise by oath that's what you need from god and god will do that for you because that is what is going to keep you that is what is going to keep you and you will become unmovable unstoppable impossible that is people cannot just throw you around and that will make you unshakable because with God moving speaking and promise by oath all things are possible Run to your phone, to your PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, Google Pay, Zelle, and go and give a big donation to our ministry and to me. I deserve to eat your money, to enjoy your money. Why? Because I bring you good things. Try me and say, my name is the good thing.
because I bring good things into your life. Bye-bye.